Father, we come before you. And Lord, we're just so grateful. Father, you say there's never, there's no Jews or Greek. There's no slave nor freeman. There's no male or female, but we are all one in Christ Jesus. And God, we come here tonight and we want to worship you, Lord as one voice. Oh, Jesus. Guys, look around you. Look around you. These are your brothers and sisters. Aren't you so grateful to be here? Oh, Jesus, we're so thankful for you. We're so thankful that you have orchestrated all of these. None of us has foreseen this from happening, but Jesus, it's only you, and only you can do it. Father, we come before you tonight and we dedicate this time into your hand, Lord Jesus. That your
your spirit will move through us freely. Take away all the pride. Keep us humble. And Lord, may you use us. Let us be filled with their spirit here and send us out into the world. Oh, Jesus. We pray that your name will be praised on every continent, on every country, in every language and every town, Lord Jesus. That your name will be praised. Jesus, we love you. For you're so real and you're so true. We're so thankful to testify this with each other, with our brothers and sisters. God, we dedicate this time into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to extend a welcome to you this evening. Welcoming the students that are here in this space. Welcoming all of the students across the country who are participating online. It is my privilege this evening to provide some context to what's been happening in this space over the last couple of weeks. On February 8th, right here, a regularly scheduled chapel service never ended. And in addition to students here, in addition to students across the street, colleges and universities representing over 200 schools, students flocking in from all over the country have joined with us over the last couple of weeks. And other guests have come from every region of the United States and even from pockets from the world. And I just wanna say, this was not planned. This was not a function of an innovative state-of-the-art facility. It was not a function of a slick marketing scheme. There was no program planning committee. And it's not because of celebrities or professional musicians. This has been a nameless, titleless movement, and tonight will be no different. So many, so many have humbly endeavored to consistently elevate Jesus Christ as the focal point. And the atmosphere and the spirit of this space is reminiscent of those characteristics we see in James chapter 3. Pure, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy, full of fruit, no partiality, no hypocrisy. And consistent with other stories, I am a first-hand witness of radical humility, of humanizing compassion, raw confession and honesty, a self-emptying consecration and life-altering commitment. What started with students has, over just a couple of weeks, swelled to thousands upon thousands of hungry-hearted guests. What has happened here, what is happening here, is truly extraordinary. The selflessness displayed by many to create space at the table has been inspiring. One of the most inspiring things I have ever seen in my entire life. The collective godliness, the hospitable goodwill, unparalleled. And importantly, we are seeing this spiritual fire beginning to flare in a variety of other spaces. But please hear this. Please hear this. The trajectory of renewal is always deeper. The trajectory of renewal is always outward. Discipleship. Habituating practices that make us more like Christ. The missional instinct to bend the universe in favor of our neighbor, in favor of the widow, in favor of the orphan, in favor of the alien. The compulsion to bear witness to a different king and to a different kingdom. And the political statement that Jesus is Lord. Amen. 
The trajectory is a holy life, virtuous and pure, expressed in neighbor-serving, God-honoring work. Oh, Lord, make us different. Give us different eyes. Help us to see like Jesus. Give us a different heart. Help us to love and to live like Christ for the fullest realization of our humanity and the fullest edification of the communities that we inhabit and the common good and ultimately for God's glory, the glorification of God. Amen.